most of all is the more traditional methodology utilised when undertaking development projects. Um, you have a start point and an end point and a defined set of specifications or features that are, are, are to be met before the project is completed. There's often a defined timescale already identified um, and, and timescales can be quite lengthy, range from three to four months or up to a couple of years. Um, what, what this means is quite a lengthy process. When we talk about the mobile world, mobile technology is moving very fast, as we know, eight times faster than the internet ever did. Um, and therefore, waterfalls are not, quite, not, not applicable. Projects just take too long. Um, by the time a project is completed, um, and, and specs haven't been allowed to move, because that's how the waterfall methodology works, the either A, the technology has moved on, the mobile tech's moved on, the hardware has moved on, phones could do more things, or, or even the requirements of the user have moved on and, and the problem that was sought to be fixed or a solution found um, is no longer a problem and the, the problem is now, now different. The approach that is adopted within the mobile world, uh, or now the technology world in, in general, is a much more agile approach. Now an agile approach or an agile lean approach, approach to the problem is slightly different. You don't have a defined endpoint, you have a defined problem and the goal is to find the best solution for that problem um, via a number of, of tests. So you initially enter the market or um, find a solution to the problem with an MVP or a minimum viable product. From there, you then test, um, test hypotheses, um, test assumptions, um, and improve that MVP building upon what you've gone. It's very much an iterative process, starting with a, a very solid platform and always constantly improving. Um, and it allows for much, much faster deployments. MVPs can be deployed in a number of weeks um, and for the product to actually develop much more organically. When we think about the largest or fastest growing tech startups uh, of, of most recent years, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, they all started in this, this same way and then evolved as users actually use them. The biggest benefit of using agile or, or a lean approach is very much speed. Um, you can get to market very, very quickly. And you can you can test a product very, very quickly. Um, the other massive benefit that, that, that I actually think is probably more potent really is the, the fact that assumptions cannot go untest, untested. The, the lean approach is very much the test assumptions all the way through. Um, you think something might work, but ooh, this is in the di digital world, we can measure everything and therefore you test an assumption rather than just assuming it's going to work and therefore adding it to the specification. Uh, we test it, if it doesn't work then we try something else. If it does work then we use that as the new benchmark for the, for the next deployment. In terms of problems that we experience, it, it, it's often actually more on the business side of things rather than the development side of things. Um, on the agile, uh, in, sorry, on the development side of things, agile is the clear winner. It, it makes sense, it, it saves costs in the long run, it's quicker to, to get to market, the, the benefits are, are, are there and trusted. The problem that we see uh, with a number of our clients is in terms of justifying utilising an agile lean approach to the business because it's very, well, it can be quite difficult to develop a business case because you don't have a defined end point, it's quite scary for a large organisation to put all the eggs into one basket and commission an agile development when they don't necessarily know what the solution is going to be that they get at the end of it. We offer a number of services in which we train teams in A, how agile can work and can benefit them, but B, how internal teams can utilize agile. Um, it helps to promote innovation, helps to keep them moving forward quickly. And, and in, in large organizations, what we're seeing more and more is innovation factories that are small innovative teams who are not necessarily measured in the traditional way so they're not measured against return on investment or by traditional KPI or key performance indicators actually what they're given is a, is a, is a budget to, to begin to move things forward and find innovations and they're, they're, they're measured in a very different way in, in terms of the number of hypothesis tested, the number of assumptions they've validated and actually that methodology is going to become much more common the other way we, we help businesses is often actually by being their agile team um, in which they have a set number of resources per month and they can utilise whichever team members within B60 that they need to use at the time. Um, so it could be that they have a mobile project but actually they have 
some augmented reality assumptions they want to test and rather than bringing specialists to sit in their internal team they utilize our team and um, so so that's how some businesses use us